On a weekly and a monthly basis, of course, we are putting in a negative one for that one as well, but some opportunity buying on the lower side right now. Naveen Mathur then joins us right now with his strategies on all of that space. Naveen, hi, good to have you. What's your sense really coming in for the crude oil price? Is 50 done and we are back. Uh, Manisha, I think uh, the markets are looking favorable uh, from the intraday perspective. We saw the, uh, the wildfire in Canada, uh, forests, and uh, we are also seeing outages uh, in Nigeria and Libya. So I think overall fundamental factors, therefore, point out to an extent that markets may consolidate at around $50 levels where we are right now. But on in the intraday perspective, a buying opportunity can be seen on the dips, and therefore the strategy would be to buy it at around uh, June contract at 3270 to 3280 levels levels target of upsides at around 3370 and uh, put the stop loss at around 3220 for the day. It's an intraday call, not for the long term, but I think in the intermediate or the short term, the market should stabilize or consolidate at around $50 levels. Hmm. Naveen, what side are you bending when it comes to the precious metal space? Because 1180 is back on radar as markets are talking about it and 1400 perhaps by the year and still holds. How are you trading it? Manisha, $12, uh, $14 is what the gold is right now at international space and we are trading at around 28700 levels on the M6 down from about 30,000 levels uh, a few months, few days back. So I think, uh, yes, the dollar index has created that uh, downward uh, trajectory for commodities, largely the dollar denominated commodities because uh, as per understanding, even the Fed is talking about uh, to, uh, to, to see to it that the Federal Reserve uh, fund rates uh, may increase sometime in June and July of the FOMC meeting yesterday also one of the board members on the Fed Reserve has said that they can go in for the interest rate hike fairly soon which means that June July looks to be a kind of expectation even the projections the Fed fund projections are talking about large probability of doing it sometime on the 25 basis points in June and July which is create strength in the dollar index and therefore the selling pressure sell gold at around 28800 levels 950 would be the stop loss and 28550 to 600 levels would be something to look out for the day for, and as a target and even for silver uh, for the July contract 38 900 9, 39,000 should be the positions to initiate at sell positions to initiate uh, stop loss at around 39 350 and targets on the downside at around 38 300 levels hmm. Naveen the decline in the Indian markets has been much more because the rupees appreciated by nearly 1% in this week at just about inching towards that 67 mark how are you looking at those levels uh, Manisha, fair well point taken in, but then I think uh, with, the, uh, with the strength continuing in dollar index, uh, the appreciation is definitely on the fundamental score of uh, the global growth plus the projections on the rainfall. Therefore, we have seen uh, index or the stock markets moving upside and too much of uh, bullishness uh, seen on the rupee too. But I think 66.50 to around 67.50 where I would uh, keep my range at for rupee against dollar and uh, the trading strategy therefore would be around the 67.30 levels uh, on the support side for uh, for the NSC uh, futures contract and 67.60 would be on the resistance levels. Okay, fair enough Manisha as well as Naveen, we're going to leave it on that note. Thanks very much uh, for joining in and taking us through all of the strategies. Uh, we'll do one thing, we'll take a break.